Hey, what's up everybody? This is the Fish Tank Guy and today I'm bringing you an update on my 10 gallon nano reef. I actually showed you how I got everything set up, how I cut out the egg crate, put the sand in, the rock work, the heater, the filter, all that good stuff. And today I'm going to talk about cycling the tank. So I haven't been able to take a video every day to show you the progress and where I'm at with things, but after I got the tank set up and I got all the water in, the filter in and all those things, I added a bunch of fish food into the water and then I added some frozen mysa shrimp as well. And I start testing the ammonia on a daily basis and I saw that the ammonia went up and we went up quite a bit. So the the vial test was like um like a like a gr green, not super dark green, but just green. Um, which means I was able to build up some ammonia with the fish food breaking down and decaying in the water. So the next step of cycling is to continue monitoring your ammonia and also start to monitor your nitrites. Now I monitored my nitrites and as you can see here they are purple. They should be light blue. Um, well let me put it this way. Light blue means they're zero. So purple means that my nitrites are starting to build up, which is a good sign. Now there are different types of bacteria that you want in your tank before you start adding fish and coral and all those other things. And the first type of bacteria you want is the type that takes ammonia and turns it into nitrites, which is what I'm seeing right now. Um, the cycle, my cycle this time didn't take quite as long. Obviously, in many cases, it takes days or weeks for the for the nitrite to show up in a tank. But because I was reusing the rocks that were in my five gallon nano tank, I feel that you know that there was probably some bacteria in there that that is used to do that translation from ammonia to nitrite. So that's why, after just a few days of providing the tank with some ammonia, the ammonia is down to zero, which is the yellow you see down there in that tube and my nitrites are rising. So I'm going to continue monitoring both. I'm actually still going to uh, add a little bit of fish food every day because I want the bacteria to continue to grow and multiply so it can handle increased levels of ammonia. Um, I'll monitor my nitrites and hopefully you know within a few days we'll start to see those nitrites go down and eventually that vial will be light blue which tells us that our cycle is essentially complete and at that point in time we'll start to see our nitrates go up um, and that's why, you know, well it's not the only reason why, but that's you know one of the reasons that you do uh, a water change every other week or every week however you like to do it. Uh, your water, chains, water changes help to keep your nitrates in check you know along with other um, various chemicals and things you can use but a water change is really the best way to kind of keep those parameters where you'd like them to be. So um, that's pretty much all I have for today's update, just talking about the cycling process a little bit. Um, I'm not sure if I'll take any, any more videos until the cycling process is complete, but I just kind of wanted to let you guys know how that works. And as always, you know, if you have any questions or comments or opinions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it'd be awesome if you could do so, because I'm almost to 250 subscribers now, and at 250 I'm going to be doing another giveaway. So, all right, I'm the Fish Tank Guy. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you on the next 10-gallon Nano Reef video.